Hey there. In this video, we're going to simply go through all of the updates that we've made for the Electrical Family Starter Pack. So this is a result of everyone's feedback. We had probably the best support we've ever had of a new product. And as a way of saying thank you for all of your feedback, um, we've tried to take these, the feedback that we've received from all of you and quickly put it into an update. Normally we take uh, a year or so to do this because we like to wait and gather all of the feedback we get from everyone. Um, but your support was so overwhelming and your feedback was great. And so as a thank you, and as a way of showing you that we listen to what you have to say, we try to do this and push this out as quickly as possible. So you can now um, get this on the website. If you've already bought this pack, all you need to do is log back in and then download, re-download your purchase and everything should be updated with everything I'm about to show you. So without further ado, let's look at what we've done. So we've added uh, four new families. The first is an electrical meter that you can now put outside the house. Then the other items are all switches. We've added a plunge switch um, so that you can put that into your islands for garbage disposal. And then the other two are timer switches. So we've got a Decora timer switch that looks like this. And then we have like a uh, more traditional rotating timer switch. And in floor plan, you can see all of these things. There's the electrical meter and then your timer switch, your plunger switch, and then your other Decora timer switch. Then in addition to adding some families, we also added um, a light fixture tag. So now if you're on your electrical plans and maybe you have a schedule of your light fixtures where it gives you all of the detail of each light fixture, the brand, maybe some people even do a picture of each light. Uh, but in order to tie that schedule into the floor plan, it's nice to have a tag. So now you can load the light fixture tag and you can give it, well, we'll call this C1 for can type one. And then let's just, as a note, we'll call it, make sure they know it's an LED. And now once you've done that, you can tag all of the other cans. And now in your, your electrical plan, you've tied it to what, whatever schedule you might have. Okay, then besides that, we've also made some graphical changes. That is where most of our time was spent, was giving you better control over the graphics. One of the first changes we made was with all of the light fixtures. The light fixtures now uh, the symbol reflects the size of the actual light. Before it was, um, everything was optimized to be shown at a quarter inch scale. And we decided to change that because everyone was requesting a way, well, a couple things. They, they wanted the symbols to be more reflective of the actual fixture size, and they wanted to be able to change scale without problems. So now if we change to say one eighth scale, everything stays looking nice instead of blowing up bigger. So we made that change, those two changes. Uh, based on your requests. So now um, this light fixture, for example, is a 12 inch fixture. So that symbol is 12 inches. And if we change it to an 18 inch fixture, it then adjusts. The other thing we did in doing this is maybe you don't, there are cases where you don't want the symbol to match the fixture size. Maybe you do just want it to be small. So in that case, all fixtures have the ability for you to override the size. So if you go over here, there's a symbol size override. So if I Right now that's showing as an 18 inch round circle. If I just want that to be four inches, I go over there and I can override it and it'll shrink it back down. And then if you don't want it overridden, you can just put it at zero and it'll go back to normal. Okay, in addition to that, we made some changes to the light switches and to the electrical outlets. Either one of these families can now show the mounting height. So if we go in here, you'll be able to see this is an outlet that's for a TV and it's mounted higher than the rest of the outlet. So we go ahead and turn on the mounting height. So if you go over to the properties, there's a simply a toggle switch now that will turn that on and off. It just says uh, show height label and you can click that and it'll show the label in inches. And it's based on this the placement height parameter right here. So if I change this to five feet, this shows 60 inches. If I change it back to four feet, it'll go back to 48 inches. All right, another thing we did uh, that doesn't have to do with Revit itself necessarily, but is helpful is we updated all of the family's thumbnail image so that uh, it's a lot easier to see in Windows Explorer what you're looking at and what the families look like. So now you can see all of the switches a lot clearer than what they were before. Okay, um, another item we changed that was requested a lot was the text style for the switches and some of the outlets. We changed those to be a more um, neutral looking font. Uh, the last one was pretty stylized and it kind of looked like AutoCAD and uh, a lot of people did not like that. So we've tried to make something more neutral right now. It's set to trebuchet. I wish I could give you guys the opportunity to just control what font was in there, but unfortunately Revit doesn't allow me to make that parametric. So 
I, I'm stuck with having to choose a font for you. So I did my best to try to pick one that was neutral and that would hopefully blend with everyone's drawing standards. And you're always free to go in and edit each family to change the font to your company standards. But I will warn you, it is quite a task. It, it's very involved to get that changed. Um, so I tried to do it for you to something a little more, a little more universal. So that's there. Another thing that we got requests for a lot was to be able to control the graphics or the line weights for all of the different symbols. So to do this, um, we had to make a bunch of changes to every single family. And uh, we've done that. So let me show you how you control that. One of the things, before we go into how to control it, there's a couple things you need to know. The first is the floor plan symbols that you're seeing are a combination of, of three different things. Uh, for the outlets and the switches, and then kind of a lot of the miscellaneous electrical devices, all of these are what the category that these are, are, are generic annotation symbols. So you'll just need to keep that in mind. What you're seeing here is not model geometry, but just, you know, it's generic annotations is the category. So we'll keep that in mind. So that's uh, the switches and outlets and a lot of the other electrical devices. On the um, lights, what you're seeing here are detail lines uh, that move with the model geometry. So even though everything just looks like lines, Revit treats them differently. So the category for all of the lighting symbols are detail items. And then there's what you're used to changing, which is what you see in 3D, the actual model geometry. There's also that um, that layer. So hope that might not make sense right now, but let me show you what I mean. So let's go back to the floor plan and let me show you. So to control the line weights or the line styles or anything, you would normally start with the object styles command. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the annotation objects and you're going to look for generic annotations and click the plus button. <clears throat> You'll see we've now added different categories. There's an electrical outlet, there's other electrical, and then there's outlet, electrical outlets and outlets other. Oh, sorry. You can ignore the electrical outlet. There's other electrical, outlet electrical, and outlet other. And then there's switches. So these four are what you'll want to change. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do other electrical. We'll just do red. Electrical outlets we'll do, let's, call, let's do them yellow. Other outlets like data, let's do blue. And then the switches, let's do green. So you can do whatever you want here. I'm just doing this for illustration. You'll probably want to keep them black and maybe you want to change the line weights. But if we click OK, you'll, you'll quickly see what that did. So now we've changed all of the, the colors of all of the symbols. So if you wanted to change the line weights to something heavier or thinner, you could do that in that same dialog box. So now let's look at the light fixtures. Again, we'll start at object styles. But like I said, these are detail items rather than annotation items. So we're going to stay on the model objects tab and we're going to go to detail items. And you'll now see there's a light category. So we can change that to yellow. And then there's an other electrical category. Let's change that to red. So that now changes all the light symbols to, to yellow. And it caught um, the other electrical items that were detail items. So the, the speaker, because the speaker changes with the size of the speaker on the ceiling. So you must control it with um, the detail items. <clears throat> and then the last thing you might be noticing is like this electrical box or whatever. That's because this is showing actual geometry and it's not being overridden with detail items or generic annotations. So for this, we just look at what category it is. It's electrical equipment. So you go to object styles and we go to electrical equipment and instead of black, let's change it red or let's, let's do, let's do pink. Okay. So now that changes. So hopefully now that gives you a good idea on how to control the graphics of the symbols. <clears throat> and the last thing that we did for this update, was we gave you an example electrical sheet. So I'm going to scroll here into my browser and on under sheets under zero zero electrical plan example, you can click on that. And here's an electrical plan, uh, floor plan so that you can see a clear example of how to use all of our families. And then also the thing that's probably most useful for everyone. And this was a, another big requested item was to have a legend. So inside the example file, you'll find a legend for all the lights. And for all the outlets, for the switches, and then other electrical devices. This allows you to now copy these into your projects, and you can edit them however you want. If there are certain items that aren't included in your project, you can take them out of the legend. You can change the font to match your standards, but now it's all done for you. All you have to do is copy it. So you'll, you'll see those. Um, if you go under Legends in the project browser, you can open up the light legend, switches, outlets, everything is all there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this update. Please continue to give us feedback and we will continue to record it and 
uh, eventually we will get to it. We're not always as fast as we were on this one, but we do keep everything that you send us and we do take it seriously. Thanks again for all your support and enjoy. Thank you.